Hello again, everyone. It is your pal, the Black Knight, and uh, as you can see, I'm standing here sans my festive hat because it is the day after St. Patrick's Day. So I'm still still rocking the sophisticate. I do like the outfit. That looks kind of cool. And I'm here with the St. Patrick's Day special, which is my custom moonbeam. And I'm with it for a reason, not just to drive it back up to the garage where I keep all my specials like this. But it is the fastest van in the game, per Brophy1322, except for the fact that it's not a van. If it were considered a van in the game, then it would be the fastest van in the game. But it's not. It's considered a muscle car for some strange reason. Um... Does this look like a muscle car? It, it's most obviously a van. But, I have a theory about this. I, and I think, oh, excuse me, I think that was because they didn't want to steal the fire away from what is currently the fastest van in the game. And we are going to now finally purchase said van, because now we finally can. Uh, prior to this, you had to beat one of the heists to get it, to unlock it. It was an unlockable kind of thing. Yeah, let's just park this baby here. Wrong. Oh, nope, this the next block up. Boy, really you know, sometimes when you're thinking more about the voiceover. Oh, I didn't run her over. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I've ever heard that one before. As we park our moonbeam in the specials garage. So now that we don't need to unlock this vehicle, let us reveal this vehicle. And this vehicle is... If we go to... Let's see. I believe it's under the southern San Andreas. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Not the, there it is. The De Classe Gang Burrito. And previously it was completely impossible to get this unless you'd beaten the heist. But now you can just pay, oh, I don't know, a $20,000 uh, premium. Obviously we want it in black. Because this is how you create the A-Team van. All you have to do is click that button. And let's see, should we send it to... Tinsel Towers, Apartment 42. I think that's probably a good idea. And now... Now, I mean, I'm looking at this van. I think it looks a little bit longer wheelbase than what I remember from the A-Team van. But this is as pretty close as you're going to get. And I think that's why they put the Moonbeam in the muscle car class. Because think about it. Who would want to take away the title of Top Dog from the uh, from the A-Team van. The A-Team van has to be the fastest van in the game. And any van they introduce will have to be something else. I don't know. Well, it's really a very tall sedan. And this is, of course, the, uh, the Easter special. Which we will park in our... We'll move this to the next apartment down just so that it's easier to transfer over to the the maze bank for the Easter season. We're not quite there yet, but... I've already done the Easter special, but... Now, where is... Where is it going to beam in? Behind me? Probably there. Now, you can do an A-Team van with the Yuga Classic, but that won't be quite right either. The Yuga Classic is one of the slowest vans in the game. And how can you have an A-Team van that's really slow? So, you know, but I don't remember the Mystery Machine being a ball of fire. Come on. Somewhere along the line, the A-Team van will appear. That's all you have to do to really make yourself an A-Team van is buy that in black. That's the whole trick. Now, to really, you know, I, I think B.A. Baracus would in insist that you put all the performance mod modifications in to make it truly a fast van. And the main reason to get this is either A, you're an A-team van kind of person. There you go. And it is, whoo, there it is. The Black Gang Burrito. Oh, the stripe's the wrong color. All right. Well, the wheels are fine. Look at that. All right. Well, we have money for mods. Oh, 
Kurt's eyes red in the picture. I make it obvious this is the A team man. Now I told you it's the fastest van in the game, but doesn't mean it's a sports car. It is not, you know, this is this is gonna be for me largely a uh, garage queen or a hangar queen. It's gonna be something to look at, much like my uh, my mystery machine. What miracle did you want me to perform? And if I'm ever in a van race, this is the one to use. The odds of me ever using it in a van race are pretty low. Now let's see. First things first. The visuals. Go to respray. Secondary color. Uh, let's see. Would it be a metallic, do you think? Probably classic red. Would be more... There you go. Torino red? We want to match the wheels. Wheels look a little darker. Do they look a little darker to you? Or is that it? Oh, maybe we should go to... Formula Red, Lava Red, Blaze Red, Grace Red, Garnet Red. Now we're already out of the brightness of the... Lava Red looks a little too orange. Formula Red looks kind of right. But still, again, a little orange. Torino Red. Ah, let's just re leave it as red. First of all, red's $460. And we can consider everything else later. We're not going to put a crew emblem because this is, let's see, roof. Stock roof. Primary color visor. Secondary color visor. I'm going to have to go to the internet. And interestingly enough, it is a primary color visor is what's on the, uh, the A-Team van. Still thrown off a little bit. I'm still triggered by the whole Mandela effect with this, where, you know, I this is how I remember the van to look. Black, black, red. I don't remember this part being a, a, a medium gray. But, on the other hand, consider the televisions we had back then. Probably couldn't tell the difference. And it's the... Your brain interprets it as, well, there's more light up here. So it's, it's an interesting thing. Spoiler. Now, custom double spoiler... Now, the custom double spoiler does not make it like the A-Team van. That, that's going to take away from certain things. But you'll notice that there is a traction increase. It does increase the double spoiler, does increase the performance. I'm trying to look here. Let's see. Here's a picture of the original on my phone, which I probably... I could lay that over this, but then, you know, my luck, I'd be caught with... Uh, copyright infringement of some major. Where's a, a rear shot of it? This is a good one here. Yeah, it's definitely a single spoiler. Right? The, the original A-Team then. But I think I think Mr. Baracus would agree that this this does look good. And if it increases the handling I mean, this is going to be my racing van if I ever am in a van race. Let's go with the custom double spoiler. That's even though it's right there. Even though it's not pure 18 man, I think I think you can do that. That is up to you whether you want the custom double spoiler for that little bit of handling increase. Suspension. Well, let's let's see. Let's go all the visuals first. The wheels, obviously, we're gonna keep the wheels as they are. Although we're gonna make them bulletproof. Now I can only do custom tires with custom wheels, so we're not doing that. We're going to do wheel type. Oh, let's see. Tires. Tire enhancements. And bulletproof tires. These tires are hardcore. Like literally. And we can put custom smoke on them, but I think we're going to leave just standard tire smoke. That's how we all remember it from the uh, from the series. Let's see. Armor, obviously. Let's see how much stuff I'm going to... I only have 72 grand here. Bull bars. Okay, we have the stock bull bar. This the primary color bull bar. That doesn't look very different. Is the stock bull bar an actual darker black than the secondary color bull bar? Black classic bull bar. Now, does that look more 18 Let's look at our 
look this up here. Flippity, zoom. Uh, it's so hard to see. But yeah, that actually does like does have more of a well, that's on the, the one. That might actually be someone's. That's a matchbox. Okay. Everyone, yeah, the ones I'm looking at here do seem to have the more rounded bull bar. Black classic bull bar. Should match. I'm surprised it's not a. Is that a dark? Let's play make it primary just in case we ever. Uh... Yeah, that's working for us. Bumpers. Okay, front bumpers. We can actually do. Second, no, we don't want that. Rear bumpers. No. Definitely the bumpers were all. The bumpers matched. Um, interestingly enough, there, there was a. They did have a spoiler on the front. Does this have a spoiler? Look, that's a little bit of a spoiler on it, but not as much as I think the other. Okay, Let's see, grill. What do we have grill on? It's primary color grill, secondary color grill. There's definitely a primary color grill. Let me see, is there like a. Let me look at the respray on this. Primary color. I think it's just classic black. That's what it is. So, what black. We're gonna leave that as is. Classic black. Roof. That was just the visors. That was all that was. Spoiler we've already done. I think we should definitely turbo it if we can afford a turbo. Yes, we can afford the turbo tuning. Try not to take flight. We can do the engine, I think. We have forty six thousand left. Oh, that's good. There are sales going on. That's one of the reasons I'm doing this now. Exhaust. Dual shotgun exhaust. Dual side exhausts. Okay, now we have to look. Again, this is a visual imperative here. The original 18 van did not have side exhaust, although that does look really cool. I think dual shot. I think if you're going to have an 18 thing. Shotgun exhaust seem like that's gonna let them know the way to go. We've already got the engine up to date. Transmission. Got the race transmission in it. Love these sails. Suspension. Slam it down. There you go. The race is down. Do we want to go slam it down that much? Yeah. Looking. I'm looking at the actual. I mean, the actual original one this is, was a stock ride height. Probably because they weren't going to slam the uh, the A-Team van down too much. That would have cost a lot of money. Um, what do we want to do here? Will we get that much performance from the, the race suspension? The look is definitely better here. That's more to what, you know... Maybe a slightly lowered suspension or street suspension. That might be a good way to go. Just enough to cover the wheels a little bit. Not, to, not or not quite enough to cover the wheels. You could change them, you know, on a practical basis here. Let's see. Yeah, and that's the, everything I'm looking at. Maybe a slightly lowered suspension would, would work. I don't know. Stock seems like it's kind of the way to go with that. It just this looks right. As far as the show is concerned. And I, we might be done. The plate, obviously, we're going to have to go black knight, yellow and black. I have to put my own touch to it anyway. Um, lights. I think we'll definitely go with the xenons. Although, you know... Back then, we didn't have Xenons. Stock lights. Just wasted $3,000 for no reason whatsoever, because I wasn't thinking about it. Don't think it has special horn. 
Brakes, he put race brakes on this. Race brakes. Stops on a dime. Seriously. And we've already got the maxed armor. All right, I think we're good here. The exit Los Santos Customs with the A Team van. Let's take it back up to the uh, the apartment. Look at this. I think we're getting about the right vibe here, don't you think? As you can see, it is not blazing fast. It is not a blazing fast racing machine. Hey. Hey, yourself. Well, here it has. Let's take a look at it. Mel calls one in. It's always the worst timing. That is as close as you're going to get in this game. Now, realize the stripe's a little bit off. Because, as I recall, yeah, the stripe flowed up into the spoiler. Probably that's how they're avoiding lawsuits or something. I don't know. Why would you not put this? It's just as easy put the stripe up into the spoiler. And we do have a slight double spoiler, so it's not perfect. This isn't a perfect A-team homage. But... If I ever am in a Vans race, and I don't know, does, do people race Vans anymore? It, it's an option. You can do it. Maybe we'll try to organize one at some point, but we're not today. Today we're just going to marvel in the fact that we have the A-Team van parked across from the Mystery Machine. And yes, neither one is perfect. And this one would probably be closer to perfect if the stripe was right and we had a single spoiler, but... Again, if I ever am in a Vans race, I want all the handling I can get, and that's how we're going to... And that, folks, is pretty much all I plan to share with you today. Look at this, the A-Team van. Dun, da, dun, dun. Can you look inside? Can you see anything in the back? Looks like it's just cargo. It's a two-seater. It seems like it's about right. But on that note, folks, here I am in my Templeton Peck sort of look here. That's it, because I don't have a B.A. character to get to go with here, or a George Prepard kind of thing. But on this note, we finally got the A-Team. We finally got, This is one of the, the vehicles I've actually wanted for a very long time. Uh, not only as a racer, because, you know, if I'm in a Vans race, I'm not trying to use a Yuga Classic. Uh, but just because, you gotta love the A-Team. On that note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.